Hello, grade three children. Welcome to this social studies class. Yes. Now, in today's this video, we are going to learn about the chapter number fourteen, healthy surrounding. This is your SDL chapter. That is self-directed learning. Okay. So let's begin. I will just share my screen. healthy surroundings chapter number 14 so in this video the explanation part we will be going through so just be ready with your textbook now the first sub topic which you are going to learn is pollution now we need food to survive but if the food is not clean or unsafe we fall ill so children we all know that if we eat dirty food then it is not good for our health so we also need water and air clean air water and soil makes a healthy environment so whenever there is clean water present clean air is there and the soil is clean that environment becomes healthy and it is healthy for the people and also for the plants and animals unfortunately in many places the air water and soil are not clean they are polluted children you may must have seen there are the dirty water is there the air is very polluted yes the soil is not clean so that is that those things are polluted so because of which can you see in this picture because of the pollution how the mother earth is feeling it is feeling very very sad it has become ill because of this pollution now pollution means what does pollution mean pollution means to make the air water and soil dirty so whenever all these things are dirty it means there is a pollution there are many many uh, people living on this earth now over last 100 to 50 years some things that people have used now there are oh, many people living on this earth okay and since last 100 to 50 years there are people who are using the things like oil petrol and diesel and some things also they have they have been doing to the mother earth like cutting down of trees they have harmed the jungles and the forest and they have polluted our environment so this pollution can make the people ill because of we are using the oil the petrol the diesel and because of cutting down the forest and polluting uh, harming the trees and uh, harming the forest makes the environment uh, unhealthy or we can say it is polluting our environment so this pollution what it can do it can make the people ill it is also bad for plants and animals and for the earth it is bad for everyone for plants animals for human beings and also for a mother earth it is very important for us to keep our environment clean now now the first the next topic is types of pollution now we saw what is the pollution yes making the air water soil dirty it is called as pollution and there are different different types of pollution the first is air pollution when the air has too much of gases like carbon dioxide contains particles means particles means small small pieces very small small pieces of dust and other materials we say that it is polluted the air over many parts of india is very polluted particularly in winter this pollution happens because now there are causes why this air pollution is happening so let's see the causes of this air pollution smoke that comes from fires and factories now children there are huge huge factories yes so uh, you must have seen there are smoke coming out of the factories there are huge fires burn yes so those smoke make the air pollute then the exhaust fume that comes out of the cars buses trains sorry uh, trucks auto rickshaws and other motor vehicles this is particularly bad from vehicle that uses the diesel now children as you can see in this picture how the cars are uh, the cars are like from the cars the exhaust fumes are coming which are not good 
that makes the air polluted burning of firecrackers during festivals so during festival the firecrackers are being burned so because of that air pollution also cause so there is in the left hand side picture it is showing you air uh, pollution from burning of field and from the right side picture you can see exhaust fume from various vehicles the next is some problems caused by air pollution now what are the problems which are caused by air pollution people get illnesses like coughing and breathing problems like asthma so when you inhale that polluted air children what happens you get coughing you get breathing problem like asthma carbon dioxide is released into the air by burning so when the, that burning is happening what is uh, coming out carbon dioxide is released into the air too much of this gas makes the earth bit hotter so nowadays also we feel like the temperature is getting hotter because the level of carbon dioxide in the air is too much next what can people do now what are the measures to be taken for the people to do the people who light fires need help that they can find other ways to cook or to get rid of this rubbish now children as you must have seen that some people are burning the wood like chulas what you call they burn it and they cook their food some people are gathering their rubbish and they are putting fire on it to get rid of that rubbish okay so they should find some of the other ways to overcome those uh, things motor vehicles should be looked after so that they do not give off exhaust fume so proper servicing what you say your parents must be knowing that those who are using vehicles if you do proper servicing of your motor vehicles then the, the exhaust fume will not come out of your vehicle which will not pollute the environment we can reduce air pollution by using motor vehicles more carefully how we can use motor vehicles more carefully for example we can use buses instead of cars so instead of using cars we can use public buses okay walk or cycle to places nearby or, in, uh, or uh, instead of using vehicles if you want to go to a shorter distance you can take your bicycle if you don't have a bicycle you can walk and go use a carpool so that many people can travel together in one car instead of everyone using separate cars now children if there are number of people and if they want to go to a particular uh, destination same destination and instead of everyone carrying one one car what you can do you can carry one car and every person could come in that one car and they could go together to that same destination that is called as carpooling okay when when a number of people going to a same destination in one car instead of using separate cars now the next pollution is water pollution our water in the seas rivers lakes and ponds is polluted as well water pollution happens because why the water pollution happens children water uh, waste material from towns villages and industries are allowed to flow into the seas rivers lakes and ponds whatever waste material we are that we have seen like whatever waste materials there are people who are throwing uh, in the seas rivers lakes and ponds so that makes the uh, water polluted medicines are sprayed on the plant by the farmers to kill harmful insects these are get washed into the rivers and streams so what happened medicines are sprayed on the plants okay by the farmers to kill the insects but that is not uh, good for the water so it is being washed and flowed into the rivers and streams that makes the uh, water polluted when rainfall in place where air is polluted the rain water gets polluted too so when the air is polluted as you can see now also in your surroundings the air is not that clean so when rainfall comes when it get the rain rain water when get mixed with the air that polluted air the rain water also get polluted some problems caused by the water pollution are now what are the causes of water pollution the water becomes unfit to drink or for any other use by people or living things and can cause illness so when uh, what happens when the water is polluted it becomes unfit for drinking we cannot drink that water and if we drink that water 
we may fall ill. We, as as in everyone, like plants, if you water that polluted water to plants, then plants will not survive. Animals will die, and the human can get illness. The fish that swim in such water takes in this these chemicals. If they are eaten by people, they this can cause disease. Now, children, fish swim in water. You all know that. But if they are consuming that polluted water, that chemical chemicals go into their body, and if that fish is eaten by the people, non-vegetarian people, so what happens? They this can cause diseases. Water animals are also affected in different ways. If the water is very polluted, they can die. So in children, the water animals, those who are staying inside the water, like octopus, there are many many fishes. So if that uh, water is polluted what will happen that that will affect the body and they may die also what can be done about this the people and government have to work together to make sure that harmful things are not released into the water and government know this and have made rules and laws to stop this kind of pollution so children if government has taken some measures we as a citizen of india we need to follow it and stop this pollution as soon as possible next is noise pollution another type of pollution is noise pollution this means that there is lot of noise uh, from traffic horns loudspeakers firecrackers etc most people find this trouble them a lot now children when you listen a loud noise of a firecracker or some loud speaker or a horn you get irritated right so like some of them get trouble due to this sound this is particularly bad when it happens in your hospitals or schools so now in hospitals there are patients who those who are very sensitive and if they hear some kind of loud noise it may affect their body and in school the children are studying with like they are studying so if that if that sound come it is disturbing them so it can also cause it can also damage person's hearing okay it in some parts of india using loud crack, firecrackers has banned by the government now children earlier you must have been knowing that you know, burning of firecrackers in during diwali festival it was like no limit but now the government has set a rule that in diwali during diwali also after 10 o'clock you cannot burn a firecracker till 10 o'clock it is fine so there are measures taken taken by government now here is a picture you will draw uh, a picture showing noise pollution label your drawing you may also uh, like write uh, about instead of drawing so if you don't know drawing you can write something about noise pollution and you can color it also now what are the ways to help the environment now we saw air pollution water pollution noise pollution now how we can help our environment so first point is and very important point is planting trees trees protect the environment in many ways such as they clean the air trees makes in takes in carbon dioxide and gives out oxygen which which uh, which is required by the animals and people need to breathe their roots hold the soil so that it does not get washed off when it rains then they provide shelter to many animals and insects in forest smaller plants are also able to grow so trees are helping in many ways to keep our environment healthy now sadly many forest and trees have been cut down and or burnt all over the world however people have realized now the importance of trees so now there are many programs to plant trees government in india are encouraging people to plant trees there are ngo that is non government organization and individual people who are planting more and more trees so we as a individual also should plant a tree and look after it for our lifetime so a tree planting festival the one mahotsav is held all over india in july every month so one means jungle there is a festival called as van mahotsav which is held all over india in the month of july why because this is the start of the monsoon which is a good time for new plants to grow now have you taken part in this program or similar one yes children 
children you need to take part in such type of program where you go and you plant a tree and you take care of this tree throughout your lifetime in khamman in telangana a man has been planting seeds to grow forest for many years these seeds have now grown into big trees he also called, called distributed seeds to others so that they can plant trees his motto is if you save trees they will save you there was a recent news also children this man name has been come in the news also so you can just go last week news and you can just refer that uh, in the states of telangana the man uh, name is also i don't remember the name but uh, he he has been planting trees and he has got his own forest means just imagine how many trees he must have planted in his life and he is taking care of those plants and trees throughout his time and there are many many tree planting programs in schools and also uh, some are run by the organization for the school children in one of such program in sundarban in west bengal a school children for school children have planted and look after more than 15000 trees so there was a school camp which was uh, like held and that school children planted 15000 trees and they have look after over it now keeping our surroundings clean the earth belongs to everybody so all of us should try to help the earth we can do this by making sure that our own surroundings are clean for example we should put our garbage into garbage bin and not throw it around so children whenever you are eating something in our public places or in the school so you should not throw it around you should put in the garbage bin we you can we can also look after the plants and grow more plants and trees so you take an initiative to plant a tree and look after it through, uh, throughout your lifetime then you we also need to protect our environment so that it does not get worse but start to get better now the air is the all the pollution is increasing instead of getting the environment to its worst situation we need to take it to a better position okay now the next is now uh, this is a recapitulation of whatever we have learned so we learned about the natural world in which we live is our environment the air water and soil of our environment are getting polluted pollution of air and water is due to several reason another type of pollution is noise pollution pollution affects all living things we can help our environment by keeping surroundings clean by planting trees and being careful about the air and water pollution okay so this was the explanation video of the chapter 14 healthy surroundings okay so children i hope you have understood about what is pollution what are the three types of pollution and then we saw the different ways that how to keep our environment clean and healthy okay so i hope you have enjoyed this video yes thank you so much bye